I don't know you, but I'm willing to bet that Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is either a movie that you really like, or you really don't like, or it's a movie you don't have strong feelings about or maybe haven't watched yet. Regardless of what you think though, I think we can all agree that Scott Pilgrim is indeed a movie. Actually, I don't agree with that. I don't think that Scott Pilgrim is just a movie. I think it's both a musical and an anti-musical at the same time. In terms of structure, the movie is a musical. But if I were asked to describe the antithesis of music, the cheery medium of song and dance, I would be hard-pressed to come up with something more polar opposite than violent and intense combat. And that's exactly what Scott Pilgrim has substituted for musical numbers within the structure of its film. Edgar described it really succinctly once. He said, in a musical, when the emotion gets to be too much between the characters to be expressed in dialogue, they break out in song. And nobody ever comments on it before or after. And in the Scott Pilgrim universe, when the emotion gets to be too much for the dialogue, people break out in fight. Kick her in the balls! And in addition to substituting combat for can-can, Scott Pilgrim consistently pokes fun at musicals, even in small moments like when Matthew Patel unexpectedly breaks into song. If you want to fight me. What? It really captures the perspective of someone like me who didn't grow up with musical theater and can't help thinking it all feels sort of silly. But as much as Scott Pilgrim pokes fun at the musical genre, boiling it down to an anti-musical doesn't sit well with me because the movie is also packed with musical performances. And so I kept trying to figure out what purpose does music serve within Scott Pilgrim? And what I came to is the incredibly intelligent decision to um, disagree with the director of the film. I fully agree that fighting conveys transcendent emotion from the characters to the audience, but I'd also argue that within the world of the movie, music still conveys transcendent emotion from the characters to each other. This is seen many times when Scott tries to explain his feelings for Ramona, he writes her a pathos-filled love song called While music is consistently used to convey emotion between characters, we as the audience have the unique perspective of experiencing both forms of expression. Amazing. And I think these two ideas actually converge during Sex bob final song. In the world of the movie, Scott is jealously playing a song directed at Ramona in the concert audience, but to the audience at home, Scott's song conjures a monster battle between a yeti and two dragons. All of this converging into a turducken of song and combat. And the last piece of evidence suggesting that Scott Pilgrim at its core is a musical is the fact that it made me a fan of musicals. For my entire life, that eye-rolly derision I was describing earlier always prevented me from appreciating what musicals are capable of. And it took me seeing it expressed within the punky genre of music that I actually enjoy to finally understand it. At their best, I think musicals have the ability to convey moments in life better than any Dan Harmon or Aaron Sorkin dialogue ever could. And music has the ability to find us and move us and lift us up in ways that literal meaning can't. Do you see? The writer Algis Huxley once said, after silence, that which comes nearest to expressing the inexpressible is music. And Mick Jagger once said, music is f***ing awesome. Now, how about a blowy? And I think both of these titans of thought are hitting at something really true here. I can't help feeling a bit like Scott because he spent 95% of his life being an ignorant little shitbird. Yeah. Wait, what? Until he realized at the end of the story that he's been thinking about everything the wrong way. And similarly, I feel like I never really gave musicals the chance to grow on me. The way that a lot of my favorite bands and albums have Stockholm syndromed their way into my life. But while I was making this video, I watched and then re-listened to Dear Evan Hansen. And even though they make Ben Platt look like a terrifying monster man, I now genuinely enjoy the song Sincerely Me, and that's huge for me. And it feels a little silly to say out loud, but this discovery I made about myself through Scott Pilgrim, internally it, 
it feels like transcendent emotion to me, and so I can try to explain it to you all day. But if I've learned one thing, it's that the best way I could describe it would be, well, it'd go a little something like this. <laughs>